We are currently at the top of one of the most beautiful roads in the world and arguably the most beautiful road in Romania. But first, let's show you how we got here. We're Rissa and Sean, and over the last three months, we have been exploring the Balkans. In our last episode, we said goodbye to Bulgaria and went back into Romania to finally drive through the famous Transfiguration Road. We were here about a month ago, and so much has already changed. Good morning from Romania. Last night we crossed the border from Bulgaria and today we are going on an exciting adventure. We are currently parked up about an hour south of the Transfiguration. If you've been following us for a while, you know we were there about a month ago and at the top it was snowy, ice covered, and we're excited to see what it looks like now. The mountain pass is completely open, so our goal for today is to drive to the top, get parked up, and spend the night and it is time to get on the road. First stop, we need to hit a car wash. This van has got bugs all over it from driving through the night last night. Time to wash the car. Now we can see out of our windshield. Hopefully get some good videos of some beers. Oh, I want to see a bear. I'm excited to be back in Romania. One thing that I am a little nervous about, it is peak tourism season right now and a Saturday. So I wonder how crazy this traffic's going to be along this journey. But we're not in a rush. We're going to take our time and just soak in all the beauty. We made it to where we consider to be the start of the actual Transfiguration Road. We're at the Vrijara Dam, and there's so many more people here than there was last time. And there's cars lined up on the side of the road for people to go walk and take pictures of the dam. Once you get past the dam and move past all that traffic, now it's kind of opened up, knock on wood. There's not as many people, and we're just enjoying the road. Oh my god, he's huge! We see our first bear. People yeah. are stopping up here on the side because it's right there. Hi, cutie! Bear number one. I think we got some more bears up here. There's cars stopped. Oh my god, what if we see toddler bears now? Before we saw baby bears, <laughs> but maybe they're like bigger now. Bear? <gasps> bears! So, bear number two and three. There is a toddler bear. Toddler I talked bear. it into existence. <laughs> They're growing. It's so nice to see the kids grow up. Another traffic jam. Hopefully that means more bears. All right. One camera, two cameras. Marissa's in the wild with the cameras. Hopefully two bears. I'm so proud of her. Couple oh, oh, it's big. I see it. It's on my side too. Again. She gets so excited. Sitting there like a big lazy bum. Bear number four. It feels so good to be back in Romania. That's three more. That's six, seven, and eight. We've got three bears and they're just laid up here on this ledge. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're all within like five minutes. It's crazy. <laughs> Copy me, bro? Yeah, bro. We have seen eight bears so far and this road is just as beautiful as I remember. Today's already a great day. It's not even lunchtime yet. We've made it to our picnic area. We're right here at like the base of where we finished last time and the road was closed. So after this is gonna be all new exploration for us. We are currently at 1,285 meters altitude. And this is where we actually had to stop the last time we were here. 
you weren't allowed to pass through to the top. But now the road is open, there's plenty of traffic, and we'll be exploring all the way up top. It's so nice to not have a do not enter sign there like last time. If you check out our friends Coconuts and Camels video from the Transfer Garage, we were all here in the beginning of June. You could not pass here. Even though it looked pretty clear up here, uh, when we took the cable car to the top, everything was covered in snow. So we got about 25 more kilometers to make it up there. Let's check out the difference. You ready to get going to the top? Yeah, let's do it. All right, lunch was great, and it's time to explore new areas. On to the Transfiguration. We just pulled off for a second at a viewpoint and man, this feels like a whole completely different world. I completely understand why people say this is the most beautiful road in the world. There's just these winding curves and those huge, beautiful green mountains, waterfalls everywhere you look, and we saw bears on the way. This is a completely different vibe than when we were here last time. Just got some of the best drone footage of my entire life. <laughs> so funny, usually when the drone comes back, it's like hot. Right now it's cold and it's been fine for like the last hour. That's the temperature difference from being down at the bottom versus up here. Like I said, you can still see some patches of snow places. So freaking happy to be back in Romania. Seeing bears, we're in beautiful mountains. Yes! <laughs> Look how amazing this view is just from where I'm standing. This is what we love the most about van life and travel. Time to keep going. We've only got about two more kilometers until we reach the Balea Lake. So we're almost at the top. Looks like we're stuck in a traffic jam on top of the mountain. I'm not sure why. Maybe they only let like one or two cars go through at a time on this like bridge up here. Well, we said we were making good time, but we've been sitting in this tunnel for over an hour now. Not like I'm claustrophobic or anything. Here we go, we're making it out of the tunnel, and it looks like we're coming right out at the very top. All right, we just pulled into a parking lot right here up at the top, close to the lake. I think I saw a sign that said we're only like 450 meters from the lake but the parking is 20 lei per hour. So we're just gonna go up here, do a little walking around the lake, check it out, maybe go for a hike, and then we'll come back down and find out where we're gonna stay for the night. We literally had about five minutes with no clouds and now they're all back. We did just get some bad news. Our friend that we were supposed to go visit was in a paragliding accident yesterday. He broke his ankle, I believe, and had to have surgery. So now we're not gonna be able to go see him. Kind of changes our plans a little bit. We were uh, killing some time to be able to hang out with them. So I don't know, maybe we'll just head down the rest of the transfiguration today. It's a little early. I do want to take one walk around the lake real quick and then we'll head down. <laughs> Okay. Let's do it. Look how pretty this is though. It's nice actually being able to see where the water starts and stops <laughs> because before you couldn't really tell. <laughs> I just scared the shit out of her so she thought she was going for a swim. That was so mean. <laughs> that was so mean. That's my new goal. 
We're gonna touch the snow. <clears throat> and then we're leaving. Well, food. Then leaving. Food? Like a snack. You already ate lunch. We said we were hungry. Did we not? Food is life. That's why our channel has turned into a somewhat food channel. Yeah. <laughs> Riff and Chan, we don't know what the hell we're doing. So we're just gonna eat and see what happens. <laughs> we just wanna eat good foods and see pretty sights. Yeah, pretty much. That's, That's our, our channel. It's gonna be our new YouTube banner. <laughs> How do you do it? You just show me. Crack your wrist. Bring your wrist back, and then when you release, you crack your wrist. <gasps> no <Fresh> way! Try. <laughs> oh, touch the snow. All right, let's head back now to the van so we can continue the rest of the road. Change of plans. We are not gonna be staying the night up top. We're gonna make our way down the rest of the road and then hike a waterfall before we end the transfiguration. The price of the parking up here is 20 Romanian lev an hour. So it kind of made an easy decision for us. We're just gonna head down. We just got to this parking area where the start of the hike to the waterfall is. That was the puppy from last time. Yeah. It's gotten bigger. There's like two or three of them. Hi. So the start of this hike to the waterfall is right where the cable car is. Um, it's about a 30 minute walk each way. So about an hour total of a hike. Not too bad. Um, we didn't make it to the top last time. Um, it does look like it gets a little bit elevated, but it's probably still not that challenging. Bears. It's a little steep. The hike to the waterfall is straight uphill, but that means the way back is going to be really easy. <laughs> yeah. A little more than you thought you were going to be doing, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to be doing it. Glad. It's about time my fat ass goes on a proper sweat session. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't stop now. Send help. I just, I'm admiring this view, baby. That's all I'm doing. That is a pretty epic view. Yeah. Yeah. All right, back to it. Uh-huh. Almost there. Almost there. I think we're about to come around the final corner. This waterfall better be worth it. We made it. Ah! This is totally worth it. Waterfalls are my happy place and this is probably one of the most epic ones I've ever seen. Well we were able to complete everything we wanted to complete today instead of in two days, but that's because we were here a month ago. If you're coming to this area, I would highly recommend spending two days so you could take time down near the Vidraru Dam. Uh, you could pull off at a lot of areas, stop at some of the stops, uh, check out the local shops. We already did all that last month, so today we kind of did it like a fast pace, and we were actually planning to be here two days, but guess what? Now we're gonna make it to Slovakia even quicker. That means more hikes, more mountains, 
We're about to have a lot of fun over this summer. We've got Slovakia, Switzerland, Austria, Liechtenstein, and we've got a big challenge in Liechtenstein. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Only up from here, baby. Next episode on Riss and Sean, join us as we head into the beautiful city of Cluj and Apoca and eat only the foods recommended by you guys. Women are always right. Happy Ooh. wife, happy life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yada, yada, yada. There's a path right there. Look at that. Look, it's just a pure cliff. I figured we're going to go right up there to that little hangout and you were going to hang off the edge. Yeah, that's what Marissa's going to do. Marissa, the strongest woman alive, the, the least fearful woman on <laughs> planet Earth, be hanging off an edge. I don't like the fact that they don't have real guardrails. I remember that time when I went to go get LPG and I just grabbed the hold of the cover and pulled it off my hand just got covered in horse shit. That's a memory. It's yeah. a core memory that you'll have for the rest of your life. Here's some Harleys coming. Making me wish I would have rented a motorcycle for this trip. I guess I'm gonna have to come back for a third trip on the Transfiguration. Some people like money. Some people like women. I like motorcycles. Well, I mean, you do like money and women too. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna be a badass bitch? You gotta do badass things.